Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Like my videos? Please consider buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for the support. It helps me continue making content that you enjoy. It's Lockjaw. I'll give you that one. Hmm. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another He-Man and the Masters of the Universe a figure from the new Netflix CGI show, and it's Trap Jaw. Power Attack Trap Jaw, and I was super excited to find this guy. This is actually the only one I have ever seen on the shelf, and I've had him probably for about a month now. Still haven't seen another one out there, so he's definitely super popular, and if you see him, you might want to pick him up if you're a Trap Jaw fan. So let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Trapjaw in the package, and he's got this nice blister pack. I really like it. Uh, we get some nice artwork up here at the top of the box. It's got Trapjaw there. It's got Gray Skull, He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, Power Attack, and uh, there he is in the package. Nothing again on the sides like usual. So here's kind of a close-up with the artwork. Castle Gray Skull looks super cool. There he is inside the package, and, uh, well, he's a power attack like He-Man and Skeletor. So here's the back of the package, kind of shows the figure and the power attack gimmick. The other figures in this wave, so here's a close-up. There he is, looking all kinds of gnarly. There are the other two figures I've already reviewed, and, well, that's about it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him out of box and see what we think. So here we have Trapjaw out of the packaging, and, well, he's got his powered-up form, and he's got his little missile arm looking kind of cool. It's definitely an interesting-looking figure for sure. Uh, a very different kind of look for Trapjaw, but it does have all the kind of general characteristics that we, you know, think of the, the red head and uh, the blue body and the green legs and everything so now i will say you notice i've got the weapon kind of pushed onto his leg there because if i lift it up he will just fall right over like the legs cannot hold they're very loosey goosey and it's probably the qc on this figure and he's also kind of top heavy but he just wants to fall right over uh, with this big weapon piece, so uh, just be aware of that. Uh, so there's the play gimmick. He's got this push missile in there, so when you push the button, the missile, you know, kind of flies out. So let's take a look at this real quick. It's a translucent piece of red plastic, um, you know, just kind of fiery missile, you know, kind of fun. Kids will like that. It shoots out, uh, so that's definitely cool. Now, as far as the articulation on the figure itself, uh, we get this big hole through there, which looks kind of funny. Um, his head does move back and forth. It's got a little bit of wiggle up and down, but not too terribly much. And then uh, the arm does move up and down over here. He's got a twist on his uh, blue wrist over here on the left side. The right side arm does move up and down, and then the claw does spin around, so that's kind of cool. I like that feature. I wish that jaw actually moved up and down, but it doesn't. He does have the kind of punch gimmick, but it's on the left side, really, like this. Um, and then he's got the up and down motion, uh, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, he does have the ball joints at the legs. But again, they're super duper loose on this particular figure. And, uh, well, that's it. No, nothing on the legs or the boots, which is unfortunate. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the kind of over-exaggerated armor on the right arm. Looks cool. Lots of detail. His mouth looks like it does in the show. Unfortunately, the jaw does not move up and down. I think they could have done that easily. He does have the little kind of what should be the hole at the top of the head to put the string through like the old toy, but 
unfortunately doesn't have it. We got some nice detail on the back of the body and the body itself. This nice big uh, red piece there and all the armor bits. The itty bitty arm looks definitely cool. It's very Frankenstein-y looking and a little over exaggerated for Trap Jaw as we normally see him. Now, taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, we got the giant uh, arm with the missile launcher there. He's got the black loincloth. He's got the kind of spikes on his hand. I like the snake uh, belt buckle there on the side. Looks good. He's got the kind of green pants going on there, very Frankenstein-y. Lots of the detail happening all over the place. Lots of scars and uh, little bits here and there. Again, making him look very Frankenstein-y. And then his claws kind of open. I, I do like how it spins. And I kind of wish it had a spin gimmick rather than the missile, but you know, it is what it is. It's a kid's toy. And then finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, we get these nice, big, chunky boots. I like how it's got the spikes at the toes. Um, it's got the tread underneath, which is cool. I don't know if that actually helps it stand or not, really, but it definitely looks cool. Unfortunately, this particular figure, the legs are just too loosey-goosey, and I think it's just a QC issue. But uh, I really wish that the upper boots had a twist. They do not, but... Then again, none of the old school 80s figures did, so I guess that's just a harken back to those old school figures. For comparison, here we have the Power Attack Trap Jaw with his wave mates, Power Attack He-Man and Skeletor, and they definitely look cool side by side. Uh, all of them powered up from the power of Grayskull, if you've seen uh, the TV show. So definitely fun, and they definitely have that vibe of old school, thick, heavy toys that kids can go out and get heavy duty play with, and I'm there for it. So is the Power Attack Trapjaw from the new Netflix CGI He-Man and the Masters of the Universe series something you want your Motu collection? Well, if you're a Trapjaw completist, this might be something you want to get. And if you like the new series, you're definitely going to dig this guy, I think. I, kids are going to love this toy series. They're just thick, they're heavy, they got some fun play gimmicks and they capture everything that was fun about the original Masters of the Universe figures with a new vibe. Now, unfortunately, mine has got some QC issues with the legs, but I'm able to get him to stand up on the shelf, so I'm at least happy about that. And, you know, I wish that the the mouth, uh, the jaw, would actually move on Trap Jaw. I think this is the first one we've ever had that it didn't move, which is unfortunate, and I think they could have pulled it off. And... They've got the little spot that has the hole to put the string through him on, like, the original toy, but they didn't <laughs> fulfill that through, so I guess a customizer could do it, but those are just tiny nitpicks, really. It's a fun figure, and I will say he's hard to find. Again, this is the only one I've ever seen on the shelf. So there he is, Trap Jaw from the Netflix Motu series. Thanks Thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.